Key issues in nuclear science and non-proliferation were on the international agenda this week as representatives from over 140 countries came together for the IAEA's annual meeting. In his opening address, the Director General spoke of the nuclear safeguards work that was carried out this year despite the COVID-19 pandemic. We were not expecting to have to inspect hundreds of nuclear facilities around the world in a world that was closed down, where planes could not land and we could not take off to get there, to make sure that nuclear material is not diverted to forbidden uses. But we did it. The General Conference usually hosts thousands of participants and around 70 side events. But this year it was pared down to comply with the pandemic safety restrictions. Delegates voted on important resolutions to further strengthen the IAEA's work in nuclear science and technology, safety, security, safeguards, and technical cooperation. All 30-plus side events were virtual or hybrid, with agency experts preparing videos, recording speeches, and giving virtual tours of IAEA laboratories. One virtual event celebrated 10 years of the Nuclear Law Institute, which trains legal experts from around the world on drafting nuclear-related legislation. And another discussed combating nuclear security threats nationally, regionally, and globally. The main side event was the two-day scientific forum, which focused on innovative nuclear power to help transition into clean energy. In addition, a new initiative was launched to strengthen support to countries in the accounting and control of their nuclear material, while facilitating the work of nuclear verification by the IAEA. Participants also discussed major IAEA support to the COVID-19 response and ways to counter future zoonotic pandemics through the agency's Zodiac Initiative. This is the IAEA of 2020. This is the IAEA of the future, an IAEA which is present at every important societal global challenge where its mandate allows it to be.